Haifa is the largest city in northern Israel and the third largest city in the country, with a population of over 265,000. Haifa is built on the slopes of Mount Carmel and it has a history dating back all the way back to biblical times. Today, the city is a major seaport located on Israel's Mediterranean coastline in the Bay of Haifa, covering 63.7 square kilometers. It's located about 90 kilometers north of Tel Aviv and it is the major regional center of northern Israel. Hi, my name is Boaz and I'm a student at the University of Haifa. It's an amazing university where we have over 16,000 students. Come on, I'd love to take you on a journey not only to show the university, but Haifa the city. It's an amazing city. Come on with me. The University of Haifa is the most pluralistic institution of higher education in Israel. Sons and daughters of both veteran cities and development towns, Kibbutzim and Moshavim, new immigrants, Jews, Arabs, and Druze, IDF officers, and security personnel, all sitting together on the bench of knowledge in an atmosphere of coexistence, tolerance, and mutual respect. University is located on Mount Carmel, which has a phenomenal surrounding. So we'll show you that whole atmosphere in a little bit. But what do you want to study? I'm really interested in technology. Technology. So do you Just know like that we have else. a great technology lab? Do you I know do. about our IBM lab? I do. I really hope to be able to get an internship there sometime oh, in the future. Perfect. I know the, comp you know the competition's what? really fierce. The competition is fierce, but Boaz, can you join me? I would be We are going to go show her the lab okay. right now. Okay. Wow. So, Sephora, I know it was a long walk to get here, but here's our IBM technology lab. Wow. You know, classes are done, so okay. I was thinking maybe of heading down to the Baha'i Gardens. Well, that's actually where I'm going to right Excellent. now. So, you want to join Absolutely. me? Absolutely. Let's go take a walk. Let's do it. These gardens comprise a staircase of 19 terraces. They extend all the way up the northern slope of Mount Carmel, while different parts of the gardens offer a variety of different experiences, they speak in a common language of graveled paths, hedges, and flower beds groomed and nurtured by dedicated gardeners. The gardeners frame panoramic views of the city, the Galilee Hills, and the Mediterranean Sea. If you visit Israel, you have to go to the Haifa and visit the gardens. It's paradise on earth. The atmosphere is very serene. Don't wait for your guide. Walk up and down the terraces by yourself. This is by far the best and most amazing part of the entire country. The gardens, buildings, and overall spirit is amazing. Take a camera and a good pair of walking shoes and have lots of time. It's gorgeous, just gorgeous, a must see. Oh, I'm so happy I get to work in the most beautiful place in the world. So I'm here in the Baha'i Gardens, my favorite place in all of Israel. And I just know that as soon as my baby is born, it will be his favorite place too. It's really worth it to take time to visit the Baha'i Gardens in Haifa. 
a striking view in the usually semi-arid environment of the surroundings, beautiful in harmony. The Druze are both a religion and an ethnic group. The group originated in Cairo, Egypt, and then spread to the mountains of southern Lebanon and beyond. The Druze faith grew out of Islamic. The Druze today are located between Lebanon, Syria, Israel, and Jordan. There are about 900,000 of these people, and a, about under a million throughout the entire world. They also live in small communities in North and South America, and even smaller groups in Australia, West Africa, and Western Europe. Shalom. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Drews. How are you? I'm fine, and who may I ask is calling? Oh, I am Boaz, and I'm wondering if Fozzie's home. Well, why don't you step in, and I will tell you about Fozzie. Oh, okay. We are so proud of Fozzie. He has joined the Israeli army. He has? Yes. I didn't even know that uh, the Druze family would serve in the Israeli army. Oh, we are so protective of the countries that we live in. We will give our life for the country so that we have peace and harmony. Um, but the thing is, their family is so torn apart because his cousin, who has joined the Lebanon army, Salim, has also joined. And now we are hoping that Fazi doesn't have a, a fighting conflict with his cousin. It would really tell our company, our family apart. Oh, I can see. Well, I certainly hope that that doesn't happen. And uh, will you let him know that um, Boaz was looking for him? I will, but Wonderful. I must excuse myself because I have to teach my younger children's education. Oh, okay. Well, I'm good sorry, to see you again. I'm sorry, but I'm so glad that you stopped, and then I will tell him that you Okay, called. thank you. Shalom. Shalom. We hope you've enjoyed your journey of Haifa, and we really hope you have a fantastic time when you're here in our beautiful city.